Okay, so now we're gonna do the uh, the Romanian Rhapsody Number no. One by UNESCO. Um, so let me just give it a give it a go here, and then we can we can go over a few things. Something like that. Okay, so um, let me just break it down. The tempo is actually this is this is the tempo. I've been playing uh, most of the videos under tempo just for you to really listen to things. But this one is actually it's not a fast um, it's not a fast excerpt. Um, so let me just check on the beginning here. It says one. 20, between 120 and 126 and this is what it's about it was about right and I probably played the other section a little bit quicker than prescribed so this is 120 Ooh, no, not that so I was a little bit uh, quick you know because you say It's about right, and I think even take it says accelerando there, so um, you can probably that's why I have that tempo in my head because it's a little quicker there. And then the next section, the eighth note is 112 between 112 and 118. This is 118. Oh. <laughs> that you will do it we'll do it a little faster um, for for the performance but these are very conservative tempos if you ask me um, okay so that's one thing the other thing on measure 32 um, yes yeah, some people uh, um, there are two ways of playing in harmonic uh, if you look at the violin and the strings the same harmonic that you produce here, you will produce up here at the same distance. So if you cut the string in half, you will have the octave harmonic here. It's really exactly halfway through the string. And then if you go a quarter distance, so this harmonic and this harmonic, quarter distance, you, be, you, you cut it in, in another, you know, cut the half in half is a quarter, and the other half in half is a quarter. The same harmonic you produce on this side, you will produce it on the other side too. So when you have this harmonic here, you can do it here, right? But you can also do it here. It's the same distance, but up there. So in pieces by Sarasate and pieces like this that are more of a folk quality, uh, it's almost implied that you will do that because it's like that uh, throwing the harmonic up and producing that glissando is more stylistic for this kind of pieces. So yeah, don't get fooled because uh, if some teacher fingers it and then put the A string on top 
and but you didn't have a lesson with the teacher usually that's what they mean they mean um it's this i'm actually playing on the a string okay and um if you look at some recordings it's, it's hard to catch uh, a recording where you can see this, the string players doing that but there is one by i believe it's celebidake conducting and he walks in to the performance like after the orchestra already started it's like a little show but i i managed to catch exactly that spot where they go boom and they throw the finger up okay so that's that's legit um then the next section is actually not much to say there except you just have to count one two three four five six okay so have to be precise with the so tam taka 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 tam now this how short do you play um remember you're playing by yourself so you have to make a pretty tone there so that in the recording it sounds nice so so vibrato you need a vibrato that is the note is short so you need to really activate your vibrato so that you get a few a few vibrations into a short note okay because if you have a section of 16 violins that's not too bad but if you're playing by yourself too dry too dry for an audition it's a little bit too dry okay so Remember, this is a melody, so you have to remember that quality all the time. Even when you play the sure notes, you gotta go somewhere and you have to fray. So, so that's one, two, three. Taka 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 Think it in two there. So, one, two, three, taka 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 tam, taka 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 tam, pam pam. So in that particular measure, this is one before five. You have to think in two so that you can put your eight notes in three eighth. Okay. So you gotta uh, maybe practice after you put everything together, sort of. Then, yeah, practicing six, put putting the metronome in six beats. And then practice putting the metronome in two beats. Around 35, 38, 38. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And 38 would be, let's see. 38 would be 114, which is around the tempo prescribed there. So going back to my metronome here, 38. One, two, three, four. It's a little bit, I, I still think this, this is a little bit under tempo. So before five. Okay, so that's basically what you have to do. If you do 120, I mean, in putting the metronome on 40, it's not so bad. Okay, this is not a, a fast excerpt by any means. So that's, um, that's that uh, just for the tempo relationship. Uh, dynamics, just try to follow them. You know, once you get comfortable with the, with the excerpt, this is forte, but remember, forte beautiful. You're playing by yourself. It's not an orchestra forte. It's a individual 40 in a recording so now so the last note there has a little hairpin this is the second line measure 36 at the end so that means that you have to do it a little softer there and crescendo and the forzando is of is 
uh, more in car in the in context okay so it's not it's not like that it's more uh, leaning into the note because you are doing a crescendo and then phrase what is there is It means exactly what is there. It's like the, the the bigger part of the phrase is in the middle of the of that little melody. So it's okay. But you can also phrase. I don't think it's a deal breaker if you phrase um, with the music. So it's fine. If you, if you phrase with the music, it's fine. It's the overall dynamic is what you have to follow. So there you don't have the hair pin thing, but I think on, at the end of 44, just because it's the same material, do the same thing. Okay, so. Okay, so the, yeah, that's in measure 44. At the end of 44, also uh, don't hit the last note. And there is a diminuendo there. Okay, so basically the dynamics are not really you know, like a Mahler piece, like the Mahler excerpt, that everything is exactly where he wants it, um, is you got to interpret some of them. So the main thing is the rhythm's wrong, uh, the rhythm's right, the character should be nice, and I mean, you have to get the, 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 the character of this piece. It's a folk piece. And also the, um, I, would, I would say this, the, the main thing, the phrasing has to be very tasteful because it's a, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's the melody gives you the way you should phrase it. So you have to really listen for what you're playing. And I think you will come, the, the audition will be very well played if you do that. It will sound good on the recording, is what I mean. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, so, clear about measure 32. Okay, remember that you can do the harmonics both ways. You can do it here. You can do it, I mean, there's nothing illegal about doing it like that. Okay, if you don't wanna like jump. But it's not really the way, uh, um, stylistically speaking, is not recommended. Okay, so, ah, one more thing about that spot. The way you count it, because the, the last, the, I would, what I would do is that the last beat of 32 would be already on the, on the tempo of the 6-8. And most most conductors do that. So it's like uh, on, on 32 would be the conducting would be ta 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 So I would say that the last beat of 32 is a 6-8 beat. ta 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 Okay, so ta 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 ta
pump, pump. Okay, so that keep that in mind and uh, do it mostly by ear. I would think just get the get the character. And the important part also is to wait for the tie. Okay, ring ta da ta 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 ta, and don't hit the last note. It's actually forte diminuendo on thirty three, and that's it.